I'm back. Sooner than you thought? Well, this is how it's going to be from now on. First of all, I want to say thank you to everybody that has watched my Evil Within review, that have commented, subscribed, liked, absolutely incredible. I didn't expect such a response, you know, from a video that I post on my YouTube, you know. I've been on my YouTube about a year, you know, just under a year. I didn't think um, people would pay attention to my views or anything like that. I just wanted to put information out there, you know, because I'm a core gamer, you know, and I go to movies, I'll get, it. So for some bizarre reason, I get invites from Marvel Studios to watch films and even sometimes Sony and stuff like that. So I do reviews on those kind of movies and video games, you know, when I've got time because of like work and stuff like that. But thank you so much you know i've got like this video but if we've got 23 thousand views like unbelievable you know so much positive comments i got to talk to people like god's gladiator um derek dean knockout um neo neo pop four five four so many people like interesting conversations you know, um, I was talking to Mike Villa, or Via, you know, Joseph Duncan, so many people I've been talking to, you know, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a thank you. When I hit 600 subscribers, I'm going to thank every single one of you subscribers, the Warriors. Thank you so much. Thank you for supporting me, and I'm not going to waste any time. Today, I'm talking about Bayonetta 2. Now, what I wanted to do with Bayonetta 2 was... I want to review the system before I do a review of the game. Because I've been playing Evil Within. And I'm playing the game on Akuma mode. Like, the hardest difficulty. Yeah, I'm loving Evil Within. And I want to commit all my time 100% to Bayonetta. And I haven't finished Bayonetta yet. And I don't want to rush through the game. Or just do a review of a half played game I want to play Bayonetta properly you know I haven't completed Bayonetta yet so what I'm going to do is I've played the game extensively you know especially over the weekend I've been playing Evil Within and mostly Bayonetta I've come across a lot of um, system changes so I wanted to address those system changes between Bayonetta 1 and Bayonetta 2 what they've done differently with the Wicked Weaves with the Umbron Climax how Magic Meter builds and just the whole round system, you know, because I played it in depth. And there's a lot of videos I've seen on YouTube and heard about where people are criticising the changes. And they think that the game's got some bugs in it. When it actually hasn't. It's system. It's like when you completely understand the system, you understand why they've done what they've done in Bayonetta 2. One of the best games I've ever played, Bayonetta 2. I love that game. How they've changed it. Like, the game is actually more... It's got more character development in it. You know... But we're not going to review the game just yet. First of all, we're going to get on with talking about the system. You know, so I'm going to split this into two parts, right? So right now, I'm going to do part one. So I hope you enjoy, and let's get on with it. So, Lionheart is in the building. I told you I was going to come with a treat. And my treat today, Bayonetta 2. I told you I had it. Now it's time to show you. Now it's time to show you. I'm not going to do any spoilers. So we're going to skip this. Yeah. And I'm just going to show you some Bayonetta. First of all. Something for all the mums out there. If you need to learn how to talk to a lady. Ask your mum. <laughs> she said the mum. She said ask your mum. Now. As well, that will strike you where people say, oh, the Wii U can't do um, amazing graphics. I ask you, look at this change. Right, let's go. Let, if I take you to where, um, like, look at this. Now, you can't tell me, like, the graphical fidelity doesn't look amazing. I mean, I'm not into all my graphics and everything like that, but... I look at this and I'm amazed. 
and it comes down to programming at the end of the day because I've seen other games I'm not gonna find no bullets at no company or video game developers but I've seen some games on the Wii U that look terrible and then I look at Bayonetta and I'm just I'm just amazed let's go enough talk come some action no take it I don't want to sunny my hands with my normal weapon yeah that's it get body game is incredible let's go no spoilers I love this game. I love this game. Bayo's my baby. She means everything to me. I mean, it has been a bit tough playing this game because, you know, the evil within. But Bayonetta, she's my number one. Another thing that I will say about this game is the way you play the system. Like what I've noticed in Bayonetta 1, you you pose to get meter, right? You got like when you pose, you got like remember you got free um magic, free magic on your meter. In this one, when you pose, you only get one, right? So I see like in this game, it's like forces you to it forces you to play the game properly. Like because the system has adapted, but they've done subtle changes. Right, but the subtle changes are actually the big changes. Because like now you need to use wicked weave attacks to get um meter. Like if I use normal attacks, you don't really build meter. When you pose, you don't build um meter, I'm talking like your magic meter. So you have to use wicked weaves to build it. And then some attacks you will not be able to get your wicked weave attack. So you need to use dodge offset, you know, and you will do it almost subconsciously. You will feel to do it. Get in. Pure platinum. Easy work. Easy work.